In 1929, Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe is expanding by showing that the galaxies are moving away from each other. And the further away they are, the faster they recede. But with what speed? The constant ratio between the speed and the distance is known as the Hubble constant. By knowing the speed with which the universe is expanding, we can understand the evolution of the universe over billions of years. And it will also help us understand the fundamental components of the universe like dark matter and dark energy. There are two methods to find the rate of expansion of the universe. One is cosmic distance ladder discovered by Edwin Hubble himself and the other is by using cosmic microwave background. Here comes the tricky part. Both of these methods are giving different results. According to the Hubble's cosmic distance ladder method, the value of the Hubble's constant is 74. And by using the cosmic microwave background radiations, scientists found that this value is 69.8. This difference is known as Hubble anomaly. The universe is messing with us, right? If this problem persists, it challenges our understanding of cosmology. The Hubble anomaly points to physics beyond our current understanding. Scientists from Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, have recently published a paper which suggests that this can be solved. So there are two ways to solve it because it's a mismatch between present expansion, which is mainly caused by dark energy. So you change the dark energy physics or you go back into the cosmic time and change the physics there. Now people tried to change the dark energy physics. It is an unknown, but somehow it did not work. So we took the way to change the physics in billions years back when the cosmic micro background was getting released. Yeah. And what we found was very interesting that if there are like photon like particles, we have light in our visible universe. If there are photons in dark universe, we call them dark photon. And if they talk to dark matter, like we interact with visible photon, I have photon, that's why we can see. Like if there are particles there, then it changes the CMB physics in a such a way that we can't see them, but they change the gravity and gravitational force and change the physics in such a way the CMB predicted value of H0 increases and start to come closer to what we see in the local experiment. There are a few explanations to this discrepancy. The new theory suggests that there was a dark energy episode not long after the Big Bang, which expanded the universe faster than the astronomers had predicted. The existence of this early dark energy could account for the tension between the two Hubble constant values. Another idea is that the universe contains a new subatomic particle called dark radiation and includes previously known particles like neutrinos. These can account for this anomaly. Yet another attractive possibility is that dark matter, which is an invisible form of matter not made up of protons, neutrons and electrons, interacts more strongly with normal matter or radiation. And this can also cause the discrepancy. But the true explanation is still a mystery.